Welcome to the July 2019 market update for the Las Vegas residential housing market. I'm Justin Miller with the Chong Miller Group, and today I'd like to provide you some information about what happened last month in June of 2019 here in the Las Vegas Valley, as associated with residential real estate, obviously. Uh, so getting into some numbers really quickly, June was slower than May had been. May had been an exceptionally strong month. As we talked last month, uh, May was actually one of the strongest months over the previous decade. Um, so last month in June, we had 2,876 single family residences close. Now, uh, that number is weaker than May had been. It's actually a little bit weaker than um, April had been, but it's, it is not a bad number. Some of you may have heard from other sources, the price ticked up last month. It ticked up to $304,000 for the median sale price of a single family home. Now I have to caution you that includes resales or previously owned homes. That also includes new construction homes. Now new construction homes are actually a, a somewhat dissimilar product. And so if we, if we take those out, the median sales price in June of 2019 was, yes, $300,000, just as it has been for basically the past 13 months. So there's really still been no change in pricing here uh, over a little bit longer than a year now. So let's look at this $304,000 it's kind of an interesting number. Um, that's June 2019. If we look back to the peak, the highest numbers that have been achieved in Las Vegas, that was June 2006. That's 13 years ago. And that number was 314,700. So we're still 10,700 10, actually, below where we were at the peak. That, is, that makes Las Vegas unique among the 20 largest metropolitan areas that get tracked in like the Case-Shiller Index and other uh, housing indices. We are still below where we were at the peak. And I'll caution you, that's in nominal terms. If we inflate that June 2006 number to current value, that would actually be $401,700. That means we're actually still $97,000 below where we were. We're 23% down still from where we were at the peak in 2006 on an inflation adjusted basis. Las Vegas does not have high housing prices, despite what some people wish to claim. Housing prices have not roared up so strongly that affordability is, is a problem here. And in fact, the affordability number in June of 2019 92% meaning 92% of households in Las Vegas can afford to buy the median single family home that's available here in Las Vegas. 92%. That's the highest affordability of, again, any of the 20 largest metropolitan areas tracked for uh, real estate sales. So in Las Vegas, we do not have an affordability problem. We do not have a super high price problem. Have prices been going up over the previous couple of years? Yeah, they have, although they stabilized about a year ago. So let me make one other observation. Inventory is up a bit, um, up considerably from where we were last year. Uh, it's actually down a little from where it's been earlier this year, but there is actually inventory that is sitting out there. Is it accumulating lots of days on market? No, days on market for the average sale, the median sale has increased, but only marginally from where it had been um, last month in, in the May 2019, or from where it had been for most of 2018. But there is some inventory out there, and that's actually a good thing. There are more homes that you have to choose from when you sell and you need to buy a new one, the greater the likelihood is you're gonna find something that you actually wanna buy that encourages you to be able to sell, right? And that allows more homes to come into the market. It allows for actually uh, a greater level of liquidity in the marketplace when people can buy 
because they can find what they want and then they can sell because they've got some place to move to. So the low inventory we've been experiencing before has been a really significant drag on the marketplace. And we're just perhaps starting to overcome that. That increased inventory, however, is not leading to lower prices. So demand is still there. Prices are holding up. They're not going up, but they are holding up and they're remaining approximately flat for the median home price, uh, medium home at priced at $300,000. Now, this interesting note uh, in the uh, multiple listing service, the MLS uh, data, it's actually showing that over the past couple of months, there have been more price decreases on inventory in the, in the system than there have been new inventory entering into the system. Now, it's kind of interesting because the median sales price remains approximately flat. It's not going down, but there, there are all of these price decreases that are taking place for houses that have been listed for sale. What that means is people are listing their, price, their houses too high. And when you list too high, they're not selling. They're sitting there, they're accumulating days on market, and people then realize and they have to start lowering their prices. They don't have to cut their prices very far necessarily, but they've got to get back in line with where they were last year, because they were still at exactly that point where we were last year. If you're a seller and you're thinking, oh, I've got a whole lot more equity now than I did last year, you don't. The only equity additionally you've got this year is those few additional months of payment that you've been making on your mortgage. The prices are not going up. So what does this mean if you're a buyer? You've got inventory to choose from. You've got more inventory now than you have had uh, in, in several years. So you've got choices. You can look, you can uh, find what it is you're actually looking for. And you can get into those properties for the same kind of price that you could get into last year. You just happen to have more of them available to choose from right now. So it's a great time to be a buyer. What about if you're a seller? Well, it's a perfectly fine time to sell. Yeah, there's more inventory, but so much of it's being priced wrong. If you were to come in and price your property appropriately, it's selling. There are houses that are selling very quickly because they're priced properly. And I don't mean pricing low. I mean pricing with regard to where the market actually is. And where the market is, same place it was last year. It's not gone higher. The only way your, your price should be going higher is if you've been investing more money into your home over the past year, updating kitchens or bathrooms or, or things like that. Then you can get more money because your house has actually been improved and it's worth more. But if your house is just simply a year older than it was last year, you're not getting more money for it. It's, that's not the market we're in right now. So at the Chong Miller Group, we are real estate experts. We would love to help you as a buyer, look for your property and buy your home and get you through the uh, maze of issues that constitute the home buying process. And we can help you with all of that. Uh, if you're a seller, we would love to help you put your property onto the market in a manner that's going to make it as strong as possible. You're going to get a sale more quickly. You're going to get closer to your full uh, price that you're putting the, the property up for sale. So uh, please feel free to uh, contact us at info at Chong Miller Group or go to our website, chongmillergroup.com. Uh, you also can obviously find us on YouTube, our YouTube channel. Uh, and this video, as well as other market updates and other materials are available from our YouTube channel, as well as accessible through our website. We look forward to hearing from you, so reach out to us and, uh, and let us help you with your real estate adventures. Thank you.